Hey everyone, welcome into the Flippin' Hippos YouTube channel. I'm Star. If you're new here or you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up as you're listening today. Today we are doing part two of a plush unboxing. If you haven't seen the first part, I'll have it pop up at the end. And at the beginning of that video, I talked about where these came from, how many I purchased, and the cost. In this video, I just want to jump on in and continue unboxing the plush and showing them to you guys. I'm going to pull my box a little bit closer here to help me get in here to my new friends so that we can show off their cute faces to the world. We're going to start with Ruby. This is a vintage Russ Berry and Company plush. And it is a reindeer who is fat. <laughs> it's like a fat little fluffy body. Uh, just say it with a rust. Yeah, this is vintage. This is pretty great. Um, I wish Goodwill didn't have to stick their stupid tags on there, but I'll try to peel that off as gently as possible so we can keep the tag intact as much as we can since she is vintage. Then we have a lovey. You guys know I love my loveys. If you're not familiar or you're new to plush, a lovey is typically a small square like 12 by 12 all the way around blanket or security blanket and in the middle it will have a soft plush animal head or a doll they come in many different brands some brands are worth more than others this is a cloud island so off the top of my head i'm gonna guess this is probably a 12 or 15 maybe 18. um there are some that can go for a lot more um, I grab all loveys. I don't discriminate. Doesn't matter the brand, doesn't matter the animal, doesn't matter if it's pink, blue, yellow. I grab them all. Um, Carter's for babies, one of the better ones. And they do come in larger. Like I said, they're typically going to be this size, but they do make really big ones. And I've sold some like full size crib blankets with the little plush head in them, um, for like 50 and 60 bucks. So keep your guys' eyes out for these lovies. Um, L-O-V-E-Y. Make sure you throw that in the title. It is a great keyword. Um, you can also use the keyword lovey on any plush that's meant for infants and babies. A lot of the um, plush with the soft eyes or if they're like by baby gunned or definitely intended for infants, you can use the keyword lovey. Um, but it's typically, it means one of these. So there's a couple of those in here. There's this gray one with an elephant. And this is also Cloud Island. This one's cute. This one has little arms. Then we have this one. It's another unicorn, but this is more of a soft fuzzy pink blanket. And this is a really cute unicorn face. Hi guys, I have QV. Hello. This is Trend Lab. Never heard of that one. But like I said, I don't discriminate when it comes to these things. Loveys have a good sell through rate too. Um, they sell faster than the other plushies. So this one has hearts on it. And it's a rabbit and see sometimes they're really cute like this one has a little corner of the blanket pulled up through its arms like it's holding it love these are really cute all right then we have oh there's another lovey no that's not a lovey i lied there might be another one in there we'll find it if it's in there so this is a a jelly cat this is a purple rabbit with really cute um, floral print ears. In the first video, I pulled this jelly cat out and I'm gonna make sure that these get listed relatively quickly. Um, one, because they're jelly cat, which is a bolo brand, but two, because Easter's right around the corner and I wanna get all my Easter plush up as quickly as possible. We have a Minecraft plush here. This is I don't know what it is. I'll figure it out. If you know, you can let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I'll Google image search. And then we have, oh, 
I forgot about you sitting here. You're waiting patiently. Thank you for waiting so patiently. This is a build a bear. So you guys know my stance on build a bears by now, hopefully. They are a luxury brand of stuffed animal. Okay, for the for the most part, unless you're going to thrift stores and stuff like that, you can't get a build a bear unless you go to the mall. They do have pre pre-made ones there available, but most of the times you build your own. That's why it's called build a bear. This is a luxury brand of plush. It is not a Walmart teddy bear or JC Penny. So I don't price these like they're regular teddy bears. The very, very super plain one, like this guy, he's a build a bear. I will start at 18. This one, she's shiny. And she's a little different. She has a purple face. I'll probably start her around 20. And then if they're pop culture characters or uh, recognizable animals from cartoons and movies and stuff, I'll price them even higher. These aren't your run-of-the-mill teddy bears. Um, so I don't see why people would price them at 10 and 12 bucks when I can get that for a Walmart branded teddy bear. All right, so we got those two. Um, we got a Dalmatian that's a build a bear. So this one I'll put up for like 20. Um, I'll comp it. Because it might even be worth more. But I wouldn't go below 20 on something like this because it's unique. It's a build a bear, but it's, you know, a Dalmatian puppy, weird long legs. <laughs> so he's, you know, he's special. They're all special. You guys are all special. You're all my friends and you're all special. You guys know who this is. And this is the Disney store, which is awesome. Disney store and the Walt Disney theme parks plushies are all going to be worth a little bit more than, say, like a Hasbro or a Mattel. Then we have, oh. Oh, this is cute. This is a look. Do you guys say Lacoste or Lacoste? Because I'd probably pronounce it wrong and have been my whole life. Lacoste. Parfumed. So he's fancy. It's Lacoste Parfumed. Bear. And this is just so cute because it's got the little alligator like they have on their polo shirts on the breast pocket. On the foot, they got little wristbands with the alligator on it and a headband. It's like a karate or a workout bear. I'm sure that this is going to comp pretty decent. Um, I've never had a Lacoste teddy bear before, but this is super cute, super unique. I see a bolo in here. Let's get her out here and show you guys. This is a peep. <laughs> um, so I've had this. They're small peeps. Plush. And then they have the chicks too. They have yellow little um, chicks. Easter chicks. And they have the small bunnies. And those usually go for about 12 to 15. But these bigger peeps can go for a lot more. I haven't had one in a while. And I know that there's turds out there that like to race to the bottom and ruin it for everybody on everything. Um, but the last time I had a giant peeps, it was a purple. It didn't have polka dots. It was just plain purple. And I believe I sold it for like 20 or 25 plus shipping. I don't know if this one feels like it weighs as much as that one. That one was over a pound. But these big ones. So I'm going to pull that aside and make sure we get that up soon. Because that is an Easter plush. And this one too. So this is a Build-A-Bear. Rabbit. That's multicolored. With real pretty pastels. And bright colors. And she has eyelashes. I like animals with eyelashes. I think it's cute. I think it's cute when they got eyelashes. Eyelashes. I think it's so cute. So I will use Easter Bunny as a keyword on this. So I'll put Build-A-Bear Easter Bunny and then her inches 
plush, bunny, rabbit. I want to make sure I get that up sooner rather than later. A Peppa Pig. Then we got a couple more lovies here. This one's really cute. Oh my goodness. It has like embroidered flowers on it and a little like flamingo. <laughs> I think she's cute. Look at her little headband and her is teeping. Her is a teep. And then we have a Minnie Mouse lovey. This is really cute too. Super cute. The tag is faded, so I don't know what brand this is. We'll probably just try to find it. Um, the tags appear are faded too. Probably just try to find it through Google Image Search and find the alike ones to comp it. This one is so cute. And it is a Mary Meyer. That's a good brand. Remember that brand, Mary Meyer. I like Mary Meyer teddy bears. Great American cookies. I'll have to make sure that I keep this plush away from my cookie monsters. <laughs> uh, I cracked myself up. I'm so funny. Disney. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be Milan. What do you guys think? Let me know. Is this meant to be Mulan? All right. I'm going to do a couple more. And then I will do the rest in another video. I don't like to have really long videos. I know everyone has really busy lives. This is Imagination. Nope. So this is Imagination Books. You know, if you get, if I can get it, to go in on that, and then it's a puppet, and I feel like a battery box in here. So, <laughs> Mar moo, moo, I'm a girl. <laughs> anyway. It, I can feel a battery box, so this will be one that I'll have to put batteries in and test it out and see what it does. Hopefully it moves, because that would just make my whole day if this cow puppet mood. All right, let's do one more, and then I'll let you get back to your busy day. Hopefully everybody's being productive, getting some work done. This is a Build-A-Bear horse. So this is another one. I'll comp it just in case it's worth more. But if I see everybody selling this for turd prices, I wouldn't start this below 20. Because he's unique. So keep that in mind, guys. Build-A-Bear is a luxury brand of plush. It's not meant to be priced at Dollar Tree prices. <laughs> All right, I will be back with the rest of this box in a third video for you guys. Go have a wonderful day. Be productive. Make some money. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about any of the plush you saw today or reselling plush in general, let me know down below. Thank you for watching. Bye.